Einstein's Jewish in Germany at a time when it starts getting difficult. Uh, he's slow in learning how to talk, and he's a visual thinker, so he's always daydreaming and imagining things. The first time he applies to the Zurich Polytech, because he runs away from the German education system because it's too much learning by rote, he gets rejected by the Zurich Polytech. Now, it's the second best school in Zurich, and they're rejecting Einstein. Uh, <laughs> and then he doesn't finish in the top half of his class. And once he does, and he goes to graduate school, they don't accept his dissertation, so he can't get a job. He even tries about 14 different high schools, a gymnasium, uh, to get a job, and they won't take him. So he's a third-class examiner in the Swiss Patent Office in 1905. Third class because they've rejected his doctoral dissertation, and so he can't be second class or first class because he doesn't have a doctoral degree. And yet he's sitting there on the stool in the patent office in 1905 and writes three papers that totally transform science. And if you're thinking about being misunderstood or unappreciated, in 1906, he's still a third class patent. In 1907, he still is. It takes until 1909 before people realize that this notion of the theory of relativity might be correct and it might upend all of Newtonian physics. How is it possible for three of the greatest papers in the history of science to be written in one year by this one person?